15 things you didn't know about Ferrari. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. It's exciting to have you here with us today as we hit the gears into the world of car racing. And in this realm, there is a name we have to consider at the very outset. Ferrari, a name that has become synonymous with speed and dominance, and recognized with the signature sound of its engines, a dominating red color, a brand name that is worth $4 billion. Established in 1939 by the automotive genius Enzo Ferrari, the company launched its first car in 1940, more than 75 years ago. Ferrari was made with an underlying dream of creating the biggest name on the racetracks all over the world, a passion that Enzo Ferrari developed at an age of 10 and was determined to pursue it at all costs, something he definitely managed to achieve during various time periods. With an annual output of around 8,000 cars, Ferrari generates north of $3 billion of car sales per year. With all that being said, here are 15 things you didn't know about Ferrari. Number 1. The iconic Ferrari logo, which shows a prancing horse, was inspired by Italian aviation hero Francesco Baraccia. The Italian flying ace, Francesco Baraccia, for which Enzo's brother Dino worked as a part of his support crew when he joined the military, flew a plane with his symbol, the prancing horse, on its side. Enzo Ferrari would later be advised by Baraccia's family, whom he met after having won the first Circuito del Savio, to use the horse symbol as a mascot for his cars for good luck. It certainly worked out well for him. Number 2. Enzo Ferrari was a racing driver as a part of the Alfa Romeo team. After racing for a number of teams, Ferrari made it to become an official Alfa Romeo driver in 1921, where he made very satisfying successes and was later appointed head of the Alfa Course racing division. When Alfa Romeo withdrew from racing in 1932, Enzo decided to establish his own racing team. That is when he started the Scuderia Ferrari team, which later became the racing division of the Ferrari company. When Alfa Romeo went back into the game, a fierce rivalry on the tracks ensued between them and Enzo Ferrari's team. Number 3. The Ferrari road cars were only a means for Enzo Ferrari to finance his passion for car racing. Being a car racing fan would not suffice to describe Enzo Ferrari's love for car racing, which supposedly developed when he was 10 years old after his father took him and his brother to watch their first car race in Bologna, Italy. Since then, it's safe to say that almost every step Enzo Ferrari took was triggered by his car racing passion, including his business decisions as owner of Ferrari, which you will see later in this video. Number 4. Fiat owns a big stake in Ferrari and thus controls it. In 1969, Fiat Group bought 40-50% to 50 of the company from Enzo Ferrari. It was money that Enzo Ferrari needed for, you guessed it right, to finance his Ferrari SPA racing team. Eventually, Fiat's stake increased to reach 90% of the company. Enzo's only aim was to retain control over the racing unit, which he did, but meanwhile, Fiat was not going to run the business in the same way he did in terms of having road cars merely to finance car racing. Fiat started modernizing cars and the sales went up substantially, and the brand started creating even more success. Number 5. The world's most valuable car is a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. In 2012, a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO made the all-time world record for highest price after it was sold at $38,115,000 at an auction in California. This car, which up to this day still holds the highest selling price on record, was originally made for British Formula One legend Sterling Moss. It managed to surpass by almost $9 million the previous world record, which had gone to a Mercedes W194 Grand Prix car that was sold for $29.7 million. However, even that price was a disappointment to some Ferrari experts, some of whom expected its value to hit the $60 million bar. Number 6. Purchasing a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO in the US used to require an approval from Enzo Ferrari himself. 
When his precious automobile was first released in the US, it cost $18,000, which adjusted for inflation would be around $140,000 today. Every person who wished to purchase a 250 GTO back then needed an approval from Enzo Ferrari himself, as well as from his dealer for North America, Luigi Cinetti. The 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO has always been Ferrari's most precious production, and up to this day, it has managed to preserve for itself a special status among other Ferrari vehicles. Ralph Lauren is one of the names that instantly bring to mind the luxury and high status, and knowing that Ralph is among the few who own a 250 GTO would tell us a thing or two about the kind of life you would get inside this vehicle. Number 7. The popular red in Ferrari cars was not really the company's choice. The International Automobile Federation decided that all Italian Grand Prix race cars were to be all red. Even though later on, Ferraris started to be produced in colors like bright yellow or metallic gray, an overwhelming 45% of Ferraris sold since the company's inception were red. Number 8. There is a Ferrari theme park in Abu Dhabi with an F1 roller coaster. In 2010, Ferrari opened its first theme park in Abu Dhabi, making the record for the world's largest indoor theme park. Ferrari World includes an F1-inspired Formula Rossa roller coaster, which is the fastest roller coaster in the world with a speed of 150 miles per hour. Licensed drivers can even apply for a chance to hit the gears of a Ferrari California and take it for a spin around Yas Island where Ferrari World is located. Number 9. The oldest remaining Ferrari is the 166 Spider Corsa. Ferrari's second vehicle since its inception was the Ferrari 159S. Only two of these were ever built, then one of them was rebuilt as a Ferrari 166 Spider Corsa. Today, the 166 Spider Corsa is the oldest Ferrari we have. Number 10. Ferrari just released its fastest car in history, the 812 Superfast Ferrari. Preparing for the Geneva Motor Show in March, Ferrari refused to attend the show with anything short of the fastest, most powerful production in its history. The 812 Superfast is deserving of the super and inarguably the fast parts of its name. As far as has been revealed, the car has a top speed north of 200 miles per hour and a power output of 8,500 RPM, which according to Ferrari is the most power ever produced from a front engine car. You can press on the top right corner to watch our recent video where we talk about the world's 10 fastest vehicles. Number 11. Ferrari's first factory was bombed by the Allies during World War II. Ferrari's first factory was not actually in Maranello, but practically it was the factory before that one in Modena. Enzo Ferrari built the factory under the name Auto Avio Construzioni that was supplying parts for other racing teams. Although the factory was restricted from designing cars for four years, Ferrari was able to produce two cars for the 1940 Milli Miglia. With the outbreak of the Second World War, the factory was forced in 1943 to join in the war production for Mussolini's government. After the Allied forces bombed the factory, it relocated to Maranello, which remains as Ferrari's headquarters up to this day. Number 12. Ferrari once donated an Enzo to the Pope. In 2004, the Ferrari Corporation donated the 400th and last produced Ferrari Enzo to Pope John Paul II, but since it wasn't so suitable to the Pope's ride, he requested that the car be auctioned off and the proceeds be donated for the victims of the same year's tsunami. The car found an owner at $6,050,000. Number 13. The 2002 Ferrari Enzo was made in tribute of Enzo Ferrari who died in 1988. In tribute of the man whose last name became synonymous with speed and luxury, it was only fitting that the company have a car designed under his first name that excelled at both qualities. Not only is it a road monster, it also has the quality of exclusivity because only 400 people would ever get to own one. Number 14. Enzo Ferrari declined a takeover deal by Ford because he wanted to stay in control of the racing team. In 1963, Henry Ford II flew to Italy to sign a takeover deal with Enzo Ferrari, but before signing it, Enzo asked who would be making the final decisions regarding the racing team. When Ford said it would be him, Enzo showed him the door. 
This is how important the racing team was to Enzo Ferrari. Ford decided to seek revenge, so in the 1964 Le Mans event, three Ford GTs arrived and not one of them made it to the finish line. Ford kept up his attempts to beat Ferrari for three consecutive years, and it wasn't until 1966 that he was able to succeed, only after having spent around $1 billion on the GT40 program, according to some rumors. Number 15. Ferrari is the world's strongest brand. According to Brand Finance's ratings, the Ferrari brand was one of among 11 brands, including some of the biggest names like Coca-Cola, Google, and Rolex, to get a triple A plus rating. The brand aces all the criteria set by the index, which include visual identity and loyalty. And given that Ferrari comes to mind just by the mention of the color red, and with a brief conversation with one of Ferrari's customers, it wouldn't be a surprise that Ferrari would gain the title. With all that said, we are curious to know, Aluxers, which Ferrari would you say best suits you? Tell us in the comments. For those of you who hung around this far, we have a bonus fact for you. Ferrari is not just an automotive brand. Ferrari understands its customers' loyalty to it and how they desire a full Ferrari experience. That is why in its 30 stores around the world, as well as its online store, Ferrari sells branded shirts, watches, shoes, coats, and model cars. The brand garners around $1.5 billion in sales from non-automotive products. We're hoping all of you Aluxers enjoyed our video about one of the greatest sports car brands of all time. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.